Hello everybody, I'm AJ Nuri from ccie.thebeginning.wordpress.com and this video is about BGP conditional advertisement. By default, the best BGP selections installed in the writing table will be advertised to all BGP neighbors, unless a filter is configured to exclude specific ones. So this is a simple selective advertisement. To configure conditional advertisement, we need two elements. First, prefixes to advertise to the neighbor, specified in a route map designated by the keyword advertise-map. Second, the condition, when to advertise them. So, the advertisement will occur either when particular pre prefixes designated by exist-map exist in the BGP table, or if they do not exist. In this case, we use the keyword non-exist-map. The concept is quite simple, but could be confusing if you will start reasoning in double negative. Just stick to the command keywords, they are self-explanatory. And of course, this is done per neighbor basis. To illustrate the concept, we use the following topology. So we are the ISP1, and we are connected to two upstream autonomous systems, ISP2 and ISP3. And let's suppose we have clients on ISP, in ISP4 using our services in our internal networks 10.0.0.24 and 192.168.0.0.24. And let's imagine that ISP1 policies state that internal networks 10.0.0.0 and 192.168.0.0 must be reachable through ISP2, the primary entry point, and ISP3 will be used as backup entry point, and that our networks, internal networks, must be reachable through only one ISP at a time. So it makes sense that if the upstream link between ISP2 and ISP4 fails, there is no need to advertise internal networks to ISP2. So this will be the condition to switch the path to ISP3. At the same time, the presence of that link in the BGP writing table of R1 will form the condition to advertise internal networks to ISP2. Okay, so let's move on to the command line. Let's start by configuring prefix lists for our internal networks 10.0.0.24 and 192.168.0.0.24. Of course, we can use X control lists, but Prefix lists are much more flexible. Now the corresponding route maps.
So here we gave instructions to BGP to advertise our local networks to ISP3 only if ISP2 applying to ISP4 doesn't exist in the BGP table. In the same time, BGP will advertise those local networks to ISP2 as long as the uplink 192.168.24.0/24 exists in the BGP table. Just one thing. I recommend you to copy and paste uh, prefix lists and route map names because iOS will not alert you if you are referring to a non-existing route map or a prefix list as a result of a typo and uh, so the process of uh, troubleshooting can easily turn into a hair pulling task now let's verify our configuration and have a look at the BGP table on R1 so we have the network 10 0 0 0 and the network 192.168.0.0 local to ISP1 now let's enable the debug IP BGP updates to see how the, the process works now we need to trigger the outbound updates by using the BGP soft reset command per neighbor basis this will reduce the clutter on the screen and it is less disruptive than the hard reset that will interrupt data transport on all neighbor links. The same command is applied to the neighbor R3 133001. Let's disable the debug. And you can see that the prefix 192.168.0.0 is advertised, state advertised, because there is match in the exist map, routing map. The same for the network 10.0.0.0 and the state is advertised for the neighbor R3 so the prefix 192.168.0.0 is not advertised because the condition in the non-exist map is not satisfied the exact same thing for the network 10.0.0.0 withdrawn from the advertisement to R3 now let's have a confirmation from the router R2 show IP BGP you can see the prefix 10.0.0.0 and the prefix 192.168.0.0 are received we should also have the confirmation from the router R3 that local prefixes of ISP1 are not received. Now I will simulate a failure in the link between ISP2 and ISP3. And before that, uh, we need to re enable debug BGP updates on R1. Enough of the bug. Okay.
Now, because of ISP2 has uh, lost its upstream connection to ISP4, the prefix 192.168.24.0 is no more present in the BGP table of R1. So R1 withdrew the prefix 10.0.0.0 and 192.168.0.0 from the updates to R2. But for the neighbor R3, the new situation satisfies the condition of non-exist map. This will make R1 advertise local networks in the advertise map to R3. Now, let's re-enable the interface as 00 and see how the situation will evolve. Now, 192.168.24.0 is back to R1 BGP table, and the condition of exist map is matched, and R1 advertises its local prefixes to R2. In the same time, the advertisement condition of non-exist map for R3 is no more satisfied, so R1 withdrew its local pre prefixes from the updates. And that's it, guys. In this tutorial, we have covered per neighbor conditional advertisement of certain prefixes based on either the, ab the absence or the presence of other prefixes in the local BGP table. I hope this has been informative for you. And stay tuned for more videos on CCIE the beginning dot wordpress dot com.